we made it out to the uh, Oliver Grape Festival. Um, here we are on Sunday afternoon, and we did find the marijuana referendum booth with Sensible BC. So we'll just show you, and I won't show you my signature, but I did sign the petition, right? Yes, yep, I see, saw there you, you go, witness. witness. Yeah, so come on down to the Festival of the Grape. Uh, it's at the Oliver Community Centre, and we're hoping to get lots of uh, signatures to um, bring this to a vote. And I don't know what else to say. Just come on down. We're here till 5. Yeah, we're looking to get as many signatures as we can. We've got uh, petitions from all over British Columbia, so it doesn't matter where you live in BC, you can come down and sign. And this is leading up to the, uh, the referendum. Referendum, and that's in uh, March, is it, in 2014? Yes, that's right. Okay, and we need 10 percent. We need 3,700 dollar, 3,700 votes in the boundary. Uh, okay, we caught that. 3,700. That's 10 percent. So um, there's about two months left, 60 days. Let's get rolling. I know we're way behind in our little community here. If one community drops out. There's no referendum, and nobody gets a yay or an A, no, no more discussion. Um, we're back to square one. Anything else? Awesome. Oh, just come on down and sign. There we go. And for the rest of BC, go to the Sensible BC site. That's sensiblebc.ca, and you'll find all kinds of links on where you can find your local volunteer to uh, sign the petition for the referendum. Uh, you can probably meet up with like-minded people, and if you have some time to donate, an hour or two a week, one simple sheet to fill out, you can email it in, fax it in, or send it in the mail, and you too can become a <coughs> canvassing volunteer. You know, get one of these election BC cards. What is this about? And the sheets. Um, so, <laughs> try a little direct democracy, be a good Canadian, and take responsibility for what's happening in your land. Make your voice heard, and count.